Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and as you can see, I'm out of the usual studio. It's a beautiful day, and I'm in a bit of a forest thing with a green t-shirt, which is not ideal with this background, but I'm out to test this guy. It's the new Xiaoyun Smooth X. It's a two axis gimbal, and it'll cost you just 60 pounds or 59.99. You can also see I've got an iPhone 11 in here. So I've come out to basically give it a bit of a test, do some side by sides and see what kind of a difference having a gimbal like this, which you really can just put in your pocket. Let me demonstrate. If I turn this round, bring this out, close it something that big for 60 pounds to see what it can do to the video you shoot from your smartphone. So the first job of a gimbal like this is to make your video smoother. And as I go for a quick jog, you can see the difference that two axis stabilization makes to the iPhone's video. Keeping that 60 pound price tag in mind, it's pretty impressive. Then, well, for me at least as a YouTube creator, it's about shooting B-roll, those fancy product shots. Now, hopefully this isn't making you too dizzy, but as I walk around my regular camera setup, again, with and without the gimbal, it makes a massive difference to how smooth the video is. Now, I'm sure there's a million ways to get creative with this thing, although the first thing that came into my mind was, what if I held it upside down and then walked through some tall grass? Maybe I could make that feel cinematic. Now, as you guys know, I'm a YouTuber, so I shoot my videos in landscape mode or 16 by nine, uh, which is great for YouTube and watching it on your TV or your phone. But if I want to do an Instagram story or God forbid, a TikTok video, then I would want the video in portrait mode. So what you can do with the gimbal is a little double press like that. I can then just rotate the video, which is then a much better aspect ratio if I'm doing my socials after I post a YouTube video. But it really comes down to how you use it. And if you're a TikTok or Instagram influencer, then you're gonna to wanna to use it in portrait mode all the time. But for me, I prefer it like that. Okay, let's rewind for a second. I know the unboxing part usually comes at the start of the video, but anyway, this is the retail box for the Smooth X. And opening it up, we get this handy little travel case with everything inside. Firstly, we get this little tripod attachment, which just screws into the base of the gimbal. Then there's the Xiaoyun Smooth X itself, which really does fit in the palm of your hand. Now to open it, just spin the handle around 180 degrees, then gently pull it away from the grip where your phone goes. Then twist the grip round and either pull it out to further extend it or push it back in to secure. And finally on the side we have this little power button and the battery status LED lights. Fully charged, you should get about five and a half hours use. So that's how you unpack the gimbal, but now place your phone in the mount, pull it apart and then squeeze your phone in. Finally, download the ZY Kami app, which is available on both Android and iPhone, and then just follow the simple instructions to connect your phone over Bluetooth. And then once you're in the app, you can find lots of helpful tutorials, style templates, and it lets you do basic video editing. And of course you can upload your clips. Most of the time though, you'll just tap the camera icon to jump into the viewfinder. So from here, you can either tap on the screen or press the button on the gimbal itself to start recording or take a photo, or you can have a mess around with the settings, such as tweaking the resolution, changing the stabilization settings, switching to manual mode if you want to tinker, turning gestures on and off, and changing to different camera modes or switching to the selfie camera. I definitely recommend having a play for a few minutes to get used to it before you head out. So now we've got it set up, I've come out again to London this time, and there's a couple more features I wanna show you with the Smooth X. So because the phone is paired to the Smooth X gimbal, I can actually use the record button on here to start and stop recording, take photos, and also of course press this button twice to rotate it for portrait or landscape mode. As well as that on the side, there's this little zoom. So if you're filming a video, you can then smoothly zoom in on your subjects. So I've got Big Ben here, which is still unfortunately covered in scaffolding, like so, and it's pretty smooth and then I can also come back out. And you can change the speed of the zoom as well, the speed of the panning and the tilting, all that stuff in the camera app settings. And then with the joystick right here, you can pan and tilt the phone. So with the app, you can actually use gestures. It'll uh, recognize the V piece symbol and also if you wave at it, uh, so then you'll have a little identifying gesture notification come up and then it will start recording or start taking a photo. So gestures are pretty cool, but what I find more useful is the ability to track an object or a subject. So uh, you can see here, this is my lovely wife, Sarah, filming me for this video. I've just drawn a box around her. And so if I just move left, or then move right. I'm not tilting or angling the Smooth X at all, but it automatically tracks the target. Well, you can see there, it's just 
tracking it. And you can resize the box, you can move it around during the video. You don't have to stop and start. It is limited to 1080p at 30 though. You can't shoot in 4K in this mode, but it's pretty handy nonetheless. Then there's the bundled tripod attachment. Just screw it in and then plonk it down, and it comes in handy for, well, you know, tripod shots, including if you want to see what a time-lapse of a carousel looks like, or what I prefer to call a horse tornado. So obviously I've been testing this with the iPhone 11, which has one of the best cameras you can get on a phone. So the improvements you'd see on a more budget phone would be even more significant. So I put a link in the description if you want to check it out and also let me know what you make of the Smooth X and also what phone you're using right now in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. A big thank you to Xiaomi for sponsoring this video and sending out the Smooth X for me to test. And I'll catch you guys next time right here on the Tech Chat.